been awarded over 45 patents. He provides innovation consulting services to the top brands in the world. Please give it up for one of the most innovative thinkers in the world, Nicholas Webb. Historically, change has been incremental and predictable. It no longer is. So if it's made up of deep and fast innovation, then the question is, what do we do about it? There is a baseline level of customer expectation. Organizations that live on what customers expect will be extinct, no doubt about it. What's happening right now is that hackers are using their destructive power to look at your customer's experience and your brand, not from the perspective of looking at newness. They're looking at how to completely destroy that human experience. As cavemen and women, we would blow air across our larynx and form words, and then we formed languages, and then we were able to write down the language, and then we were able to type the language, and then we were able to democratize it and print the language. And for those of you who suffered through DOS, we then had to code the language, and then when Apple came out, we got to point, and then when smartphones came out, we got to thumb. We will go back to our origin of the most intuitive form of communication, back to talking. That is the future OS. It's easy to think about the Internet of Things, but you know, that's not nearly enough. It's not the Internet of Things, it's the Internet of Everything. I mean, there's so many data sets that we can get now. Mark my word here, in three to four years, and I happen to know because I participated in these hackathons, you will become a digital patient node. Now, we all are familiar with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. There is no doubt in my mind that within the next seven to eight years, patients will be allowed to own all of their data. And they will protect that data through the power of blockchain. But here's what's cool about it. They will also monetize their data. The depth of change and the speed of change is far greater than I could ever articulate here today. I know it's hard to change and it's hard to learn these things, but I really believe, and the one value I want to leave you guys with is that there is a tremendous opportunity for us to participate in this.